Let's talk to Taylor. It is tough for third round picks to make a roster, and I know there's still a move coming, but for her to at least have this opportunity this close, what has she done to at least make it this close and have a shot at making the roster? Well, I think anybody that's, uh, again, followed her in college and then saw uh, the two preseason games, she just brings a level of intensity, energy, passion. Um, clearly, as a rookie, there's so much for her to learn. But uh, just the way she does it, it's contagious, uh, and it's it's what you want. We, we for sure, when we drafted her, we said, "Hey, we want this in our camp." Um, and then, you know, now she's put us in a situation where we're trying to make a decision on on uh, you know final roster. And like you said, she's still here. You spoke with Tiffany. A lot of guards with a lot of experience. How are you managing? one ball and that many talented guards. Yeah, I, I mean, that's that's been pretty easy. We, we've had a really good group with regard to sharing the ball. We've not had one day where we've had to say, hey guys, pass the ball. Uh, not one day. So um, they're, they're really locked into uh, understanding what we're trying to get, who's open, when, and we're giving it up. Uh, and so I'm, I'm pleased with that part of it. Okay, last week you said we're not there yet in terms of being game ready and getting ready to go. You know, that luxury once Friday yeah. rolls around, how different is the tone now, tomorrow, leading up to Friday than it has been, and how quickly did things ramp up? Yeah, I, mean, I think you can feel it's the third week. You can feel that. You have two preseason games under your belt. Um, they're, we're ready as we're going to be for um, you know our, our, our home opener on Friday. So um, we're relatively healthy, which is good. I mean, you look around the league, you know, I mean, there's hits, hit or miss. Um, we always know that's a big key, being able to stay healthy. So. Um, yeah, I, th I think we're ready. Did you uh, hold Lindsay, Lindsay out again today? Uh, Lindsay was in stuff. Um, we did, you know, we get towards the end of practice, then we, you know, we, we pull for, um, you know, concerns about fatigue, etc. But you said yesterday that this might go right to the wire in terms of your final roster decision. Yeah. Usually in the past, it seems like things were pretty much set, maybe yeah. even after the second preseason right. game. Um, I mean, without, I, I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to answer this question without being super specific. Yeah. But, like, what are some of the biggest decisions you have to make in terms of how you want your roster constructed, post versus guard? I think we have some flexibility, um, you know, with, with players that can move left. Uh, we're kind of loaded on the right side of the roster, if you think, you know, in terms of one, two, three, four, five. We, what we're learning in this camp is that we have some ability to move left with Tiffany Mitchell moving left from two to one. Uh, BC can move left from three to two. Uh, and so just being able to, you know, Fee can go four to three. So we have, we actually have the ability to uh, be open-minded and not be stuck in on a uh, position. If you do wind up going re relatively young in terms of who makes this roster, would you be able to go 12, do you think? Or is that still a decision that has to be made? Too? Yeah, we still have to, we have to work through that part. Small forward. Matter. Yeah. Um, yeah. Does she need to have the ball or is it? I think she's. It, it's better if she doesn't have the ball. Okay. Meaning, uh, you when you're off ball, it's going to come to you. So her having her player in a closeout situation is where she's going to have an advantage. Um, you know, depending on what we're doing, you know, in terms of uh, the flow of the offense. Uh, I don't really want anyone to have the ball for too long, but I don't think Diamond needs the ball, um, you know, to be successful. Uh, I think Diamond and Tiff have, I told them, it's incredibly valuable to be able to seek the paint the way that they do and their recognition of when to share it or when to score it. And, and Tiff, I think, has really excelled in that area. She's not taking hard shots. She's finding people wide open. And, uh, and then for, for Diamond, that's an evolution. You know, I, from, from what I saw in college, Diamond was on the ball an awful lot. Yeah. Um, has working off the ball been an education for her in terms of moving without it? And um, I think she's been really good at, uh, you know, she's never out of a play. She's a really good cutter. She's a really good cutter and her instincts on that. Um, so I don't think so. Um, she might not be used to a play not being run for her every time. Uh, you know, that's that maybe is a little different. Sometimes it seems like the play in, in where it was, here's the ball, make a play. She's going to make a play. Call. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and that will be the case here. That's what she does. Right. And she's done that in training camp, and, and I'm okay with that. Um, you know, she, she sort of got, it was really good, the preseason games for her. She understands now what she's got to work on. She played the 3-1 game, played a lot of four the second game, playing against a 6-4 post player versus playing against a 5-11 player. 
Uh, so she's really got a lot of knowledge right now to kind of, uh, you know, continue. It's, it's, it's going to be an evolution throughout the whole season. This is where she's starting from. Um, each each week is going to present different things, different coverages, and so she's just going to have to just keep soaking it up. And she's a worker. That's the thing I really appreciate. I mean, she's always out there, you know, before practice, after practice, and that's her solution. That was one of the things that our intel in talking to, to people it was, you know, Diamond's answer to, to anything that she's not successful at is to work harder. Is to is to get in the you know watch video to to get back in the gym. Last one for me. Just as we go into Friday, we know your style, we know your team. What's what's on the brochure this year? Do you mean the uh, what's on the brochure? Do you mean the curmudgeon style, like my no. style, or oh, oh? Someone mentioned I had a curmudgeonly. I, I was on oh, that end on of the now. end of the spectrum. <laughs> I was like, well, coming from this guy, it's gonna call me curmudgeon? Well, it takes one uh, to no one. Oh, that's what I said. That's it's exactly what I said. <laughs> I'm sorry. So sorry. what's on what's, what's on, on the, the brochure? brochure? Um, 23, 24 links. Boom. You know, I I would say uh, what we what we think of what we're telling these guys uh, every day is get better. That's we're, we're we're kind of to the future mm -hmm. and get better. Mm -hmm. And that that's how we're we're approaching this thing. Um, every day we've given them different things that we want to improve on, and that's what it's going to be throughout the season. We're not going to lock. We're not concentrating on outcome. That's really important for us this year. Um, that we are we are focused on how we're doing things. Uh, if we do things the right way, we'll like the outcomes. Uh, but that's not first and foremost. Was I wrong? <laughs>